Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Owl Metal Maker. Today, on our quest to finally obtain synthetic ruby, previous video we made this aluminum oxide. Today, we are going to be mixing it with about 5% by weight chromium oxide and trying to melt it with a good old HHO torch. Seeing if we can't make at least some crude synthetic ruby. Now my goal is to throw this up on my periodic table because yeah, aluminum's not all that exciting. Everyone has aluminum. You got a soda can or beer can in your hand. You got aluminum. There you go. But Ruby that you made, that's pretty cool. So that's my goal. That's what we're shooting for. So I'm going to grind up a, a fair bit of this crude aluminum oxide. Now, my main concern with this is our purity. I'm really hoping we have the level of purity we need for Ruby, but I'm kind of doubtful. I mean, you can see... Pure aluminum oxide should be a bright white color, and what we have here is more uh, a bit of a pinkish hue. Got, got the dirty pink going on. So, uh, I'm not too hopeful for this. I might end up having to order some, you know, reagent grade aluminum oxide or maybe going a different route to make it myself. But it's worth a shot. God, they never put manhandles on these things. It's infuriating to use these. Man, everything I've been working with recently is freaking abrasive. We got aluminum oxide. Last time I was working with diamonds and zirconium oxide. Where the hell's this channel going? I'm gonna start an abrasives retailer soon. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see here. We got a nice, pretty fine powder. Pretty free flowing. So, we're going to measure it up, we're going to weigh out 9.5 grams of this stuff, you know, the <laughs> cocaine look-alike, and then we'll weigh out half a gram of the chromium oxide, and that should put us right on target. Beauty on the fucking debt. Alright, and then half a gram of chromium oxide. Now, I know... Chromium compounds are usually quite nasty. Surprisingly, this one only has a health rating of 2. Uh, so it's, it must be a little more inert than uh, some of your other chromium compounds. Nonetheless, I actually, <laughs> for once, have protection. Oh, ooh, ooh, my lucky day. All right. So now to intermixitate them. All right, we're looking pretty good there. This is all going way too smoothly. That means it's not going to work. It's usually how it goes. Not that there was much to not go smooth, but let's uh, let's try melting some of this stuff now. All right. So fire up the cosmic regurgitator. We got a flamer. Alright, so it's just chasing the powder away. As I had feared. Getting some small bits to kind of form, but nothing quite large enough. Let's see if there. Oh, ho, 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 is the bottom of that thing hot? All right, so nothing remotely red in there. So, oh, I'm trying to think. There's got to be a way to kind of like press this stuff so that it doesn't jump quite as easily. Let's see. We can maybe. Hmm, doesn't really press very nicely, does it? All right, it's worth a shot. Let us see. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. We got a little ball of something. Let's see if it's red. It is black as death. All right. Well, the HHO torch seems to be failing pretty, pretty miserably. So I'm actually going to try the map gas torch. See if maybe that might do something a little different for us. So, going to give the fake map gas a try. Now, not sure if you're aware, but quite a few years ago, the government or somebody stepped in and basically said the real map gas was too environmentally dangerous or something of that nature. They didn't like it, so they had to reformulate this stuff and it's not nearly as hot burning as it used to be. But it might be worth a shot. Oh, shut up, multimeter. Jesus. He never gives me a break. Yep, I'm gonna say no go. I don't think it even got hot enough. What a pain in the dick. Try the HHO torch one more time, but I just, I don't think our purity's there. Oh, cracking the dish. I'm just trying to get anything conglomerated in there that I can. Hoping that maybe some ruby will come out of it. Okay. Yeah, so definitely nothing remotely red. We're getting a uh, just kind of a chromium green color. Well, guys, I hate to post a fail, but <laughs> I got to admit the feet here. We just don't have the right purity to do this. And we're, we're just going to be blowing wind up our asses if we continue here. So <laughs> I'm going to call quits for the night. And we are going to give this another shot down the road. And we will succeed at some point. <laughs> That's a guarantee if you try it something long enough. Uh, I shouldn't say that. There are definitely some asterisks. Asterisks? Asterix is, is, is next to that quotation. Don't know if there's anything to learn from that either. You know, we got a, a basically our, our soda can alloy, you know, 95% aluminum, about 5% magnesium. Uh, that That's probably where we're getting screwed up. And then there's also what looks to be iron contamination in our aluminum oxide, probably from the muriatic acid. So... I'm just going to go right ahead and buy the cosmetic grade aluminum oxide that, you know, women use for uh, microdermabrasion. Yeah, some chicks like getting sandblasted in the face. It's a real thing. Sorry for the mouth breathing as well. I've been hit with a brutal case of the man cold, as my wife says. And, uh, you know, she's been making me tea and slapping my face, that sort of deal. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much to my Patreons who, who make all this stuff possible. You know, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to really fund these videos. And um, if, if you want to become part of the team that is helping to make these videos and, and help me produce them all, please check out my Patreon page. And please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Quick throw to bonus track here. Something new, huh? So many of you guys have been asking to see Limelight with the HHO torch. And who am I to deny you of that? So here is some calcium hydroxide that I made many years ago, 2013. So Now I've never actually done this before, so I'm going to be right here with you seeing how bright it is. I mean, it's, it's bright. But I, I think the uh, I think the cubic zirconia is brighter. The zirconium dioxide. I think that that actually makes for a better. That does have a nice color to the. Uh, like that's that's pretty much the same color as an incandescent light. So far as I can tell. Ugh got the beer hiccups. I'm gonna kill the lights real quick.
just so I can, whoa, I must torch my scale. All right, that actually gives off a really fair amount of light. That's pretty cool. Wow, is that? Yeah, okay. Maybe, uh, you know what? This might have the zirconium oxide beat. Wow, incredible. That is a lot of light that's given off. That is an insane amount. Wow, fuck me dead. Jesus. All right. <laughs> and there you go, guys. That's limelight. <laughs> uh, that was pretty awesome. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great one. I will see you next time.